Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and today we're going to be starting a new playthrough of something that I've been keeping my eye on for a long time, but uh, really wanted to get into, and uh, when I picked it up, I picked it up for, I think, like a Boxing Day sale for various uh, apps on the Play Store uh, last Christmas. Uh, this was one of them. I was more than happy to just sort of get it into my library as quickly as I could. Uh, and I wanted to get this started uh, after we have now completed the uh, Pascal's Wager playthrough. So uh, I know this isn't a new game by any stretch, but it was something on my radar. Uh, and I wanted to just sort of make it part of the channel as well. Um, this is Lumino City. Uh, it is made by State of Play and brought to the Android division by Noodle, Noodle Cakes Studios. Uh, they're pretty uh, good in terms of getting, getting uh, Android releases uh, of popular games uh, so that, you know, people like me can play them outright. So... What we're going to do, uh, we're going to start ourselves a new game here, and we're going to take it right from the start. Uh, I don't know how long this game is, but it seems like it's a very unique point-and-click adventure, uh, and it seems to have uh, environments just sort of made from various paper craft and other sort of crafts, so it sort of has that very... Uh, I don't know, unique vibe to it, I guess I could say. And I think that's what was sort of making me want to sort of try this out. So we're going to go new. And we are going to start her up. City Granddad's house. I guess we start here. Now, as I was saying, I definitely like the uh, the um, credits that are sort of taking place in the background here. There's been some terrible trouble in the city. In the Lumino City, if you will. I'm going to need a cup of tea before I tell you. You know, plot points and all. And I want to show you something. Give me a moment to get my book. Would you be kind enough to go and make the tea? Oh, I guess I'm gonna go down here. Tea, Earl Grey hot. I get it for you, Granddad. Coming right up. Yep, here I am, making the tea. Just like you wanted me to. Puzzle, 0001, T into kettle and mugs times two. <laughs> Got it. Oh, I see. Make tea. It's going to give me a tutorial now on how to make the tea. <sighs> what was that? Someone's breaking in. No, no, no. Get your hands off me. Ow! What was that? Granddad's gone! He dropped something. The handy manual. Well, I guess it fits handy. Tap the bag to look inside. Tap to examine, use. It looks like it could be useful. I'll look at it later. Why not I look at it now? Alright, fine, I'll look at it later. I guess.
guess I have to leave now. I'm on a pursuit to chase the people who took my grandpa. To the city. And thus our story begins. So this is the city. It looks like it was once very grand. But now it looks like garbage. I just need to find a way up. Just go up. Mm -hmm. I need to ring the bell. You can't lift. You can't lift, bro. All right. Uh, we need this stick over here. Although, you know, I could have taken out the handy dandy manual and probably uh, hold an item. Tap on bag to look inside. Oh, hold on item. Drop here to hit the bell. Ah, got it. <laughs> no, I want to... The handy manual. Now I'm going <laughs> to look at the handy manual. Ideas, sketches, and how things work. To me. My work in progress. To be used in an emergency. Like when people come and kidnap me. How could you? You let them just take me. Anyway, this may help you. The gatehouse. The market, the photographer, the crane. Interesting. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Efficient components. Jeez. Okay. Well, definitely lots of reading material here. But we're not here to look at the book quite yet. Uh, so let's <laughs> make, let's uh, play the game proper. It wants us to go ring the bell. So let's ring the bell. Ding! <gasps> I dropped my stick. Whatever shall I do? Um, say, what city is this? So then, who are you? I'm Lumi. I'm trying to find my granddad. Have you seen him? He's got a big mustache. And probably dragged off by two individuals. Your granddad? I don't know. What's he look like? I literally just told you, you dolt. Um... Old, big mustache. You mean the handyman? Nope, I haven't seen him in ages. Is that all you got me out of my seat for? Don't know why I bother. I'm so enthusiastic about everything. Well, fine, go back to your programming then. Um, my TV, not another power cut. Ridiculous. Yeah, hit it more. I'm sure that'll work. I think these are lemon trees. They certainly smell like it. <sighs> it's a poozle. But where do I start? Uh, that, and that goes all the way to here, uh, which, oh, I see, I, I, yep, yeah. <laughs> you start on this one, and it goes here, and it goes here, and it goes all the way over here, and then it goes here, I'm such a smarty, uh, I'll let you continue on with your TV hitting Things, I'll enter this door. Thank you. Ah, something with an electricity panel. Oh my goodness. I 
I have a feeling I don't have any wires for this quite yet, so we'll come back. Uh, can I enter this door? I remember Granddad saying, you can never have too many lemons. I wonder why? Well, I guess... <laughs> so do I have lemons now? I have lemons! Old, dirty pans. What's this? <gasps> oh! What we got here? Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. It was hidden within there. Uh, so can we... Hmm. Okay, well, out here then. Uh, let's take a look at this again. Click here to open bag, yes. <sighs> Ooh, okay, well. I guess that's something. I don't think I can click on any of these yet, so do I need some sort of wire or something in order to make it all go? Uh, can I go up this ladder? I can! What do I do now? Oh, I go in here. They seem to be growing from inside the house. That's weird. <laughs> okay, so what am I doing? Oh, a hook. What am I doing? Okay. I'm not strong enough to bend it back... to bend it back myself. Okay. Do I have to ratchet it up? Am I gonna break something? Alright, well, I guess I'm going back up. Oh, is that a switch there? Nope. That don't work. The winch isn't doing anything without any power. So I guess I should get a power. Here to open bag. Do I need to put lemons on it? Oh, okay. Um, I think. <laughs> Do, 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 do. do I have to, like, complete a circuit or something here? Uh, just 
trying to read this silly diagram. Uh, so I don't know where. Do I just need to? Do I just need to complete circuits here? So, splat, there we go, okay, almost there, ha huh. <laughs> ha, I knew it, just needed a good bash. Time for a bit more telly then. That restored the power. Ah, there's one left over. I'll take it. So do I have that lemon? I do have that lemon. It's all fixed now. I wasn't tapping that. I figure what I need to do next is wreck this guy's TV experience. <laughs> Am I going to let it fling me into the city? Uh, okay, here I go. This is almost definitely a good idea. Uh, uh, yep. But don't. Well, it's a good thing that gazebo caught me. Ow. Meow. No. Ow. What's all this? Uh, hello? What's all this commotion? Oh, there's a girl up on the bandstand. There is, Essie. There is. And look, the mayor's lost cat. Excuse me, can you reach that cat? I can try. Get here. That's it! Chase him! Well, that was one way down. Uh, so do I chase the cat? He lives up old mare up there. Oh, she'll be so delighted to have him back. And so I guess the mare's got her cat back. Interesting. All right, well, let's go talk to the mayor then. You found my little darling. Thank you. I got so worried about the poor things. And now the power has died again. My poor city. Um, you have more than a couple of cats here. Just saying. Was one... Is missing one really all that important? This is a surprising amount of cats. <laughs> Ugh, cat fur. Blah, blah. Your city? Well, I never owned it, dear. No, no, no. I just took very good care of it. Therefore, it is mine. I was the mayor. I am still the mayor, I believe. Uh, okay. Uh, so what do I do here? The only ones using these books now are the cats. It's a surprising amount of cats. Okay. Is there perhaps these frames in the art? Perhaps these frames had art 
in them at one point. Now they just have cats. At least she's surrounded by things she likes. <laughs> Getting itchy with all this cat fur going around here. Uh, is there anything I can touch? I can see you're interested in my photographs, dear. Lovely things. Dependable. You can trust a cat. Huh. Okay. Why do you have flags in your room? This was where I worked. I moved out everything I didn't need and moved in everything I did. Out with everything from the past and didn't have a cat on it. But you kept the flags. I like to keep an air of the ceremonial. Well, I like the design. Thank you, dear. Uh, okay, well, let's go down here, because obviously we can't do anything in the room there. Hello, cat. Oh, I think we got a little gear puzzle going on here. Donk! Ah, that works. Gears of Gears. Uh, nope, we got some little ones here. Maybe this one? Nope. Blunk! Yeah, that'll go there. Nope. And this one? Nope. Uh, maybe... There's that one. Nope. <laughs> Don't. This doesn't go anywhere. Number two? Okay. Uh, I don't know what we got. Maybe because it doesn't like this one. Yeah, there we go. Do we just need to cross the gap here? Maybe. Um, okay, now what? <gasps> okay. Okay, no, I see the arrows on there now, so... Everything's going right, except for this guy and this guy, so... Maybe he goes on there and... <gasps> Phew, I think it's done. Uh, okay. What, exactly? <laughs> it's satisfying to see them all moving smoothly like that. Uh, sure. Why? Yeah, alright, well, up I go. Uh, I fixed your gear thingy. <laughs> I got all those cogs moving. Oh, well done, dear. Now, why would you want to do that? Why didn't you? I think she may have, for may have forgotten who I am. <laughs> I think she may have forgotten everything. Ah, you know what? I'm going. <laughs> Bye, crazy lady. Okay. Let's see if we can, uh, all right, so, all right, the big, you see the shapes, so the small hexagon, I guess, is for the inner piece, right, and then this one, so, uh, but which is the way pointing down, like, I mean, okay, so that's the staircase, no, I want, that needs to go that way. Yes, okay, that works. Uh, so then, the circle. Does not seem, I'll well, just keep rotating it. Uh, that almost looks like it's correct. All right, so then it's just a matter of, nope. I th uh, 
Sure. There we go. Well, <laughs> that worked. Actually, oh, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> That's to you, everybody. I'm going. Oh, and now I'm here. So, oh, I guess I just keep going. We hope you are enjoying Lumino City. Would you rate the game? Sure. Thank you. Would you add this rating to the Google Play Store? Sure, why not? And you know what? I think we're going to call it here for this first episode of Lumino City. I'm quite enjoying it uh, for the puzzling adventure that it is. So if you are enjoying it as well, stay tuned for more episodes in the future. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button, leave me a comment, or subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming goodness. Because you never know what I'll be picking up next. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.